So for the first time, I've just recently watched 10 Things I Hate About You, and it was a pleasant surprise, and I cannot stop thinking about this movie. So in today's video, which is a very special video, not a traditional movie review, here are 10 things I love about 10 Things I Hate About You. Number one. This movie is extremely smart in its execution. I was very much impressed by how clever and witty and dynamic the script was. It was very captivating. One of the best teen movies I've ever seen. Okay, you can date when she does. But she's a mutant. What if she never dates? And you'll never date. Oh, I like that. And it was very wild. And this is coming from Disney, by the way. And the fact that this is on Disney+, Plus. This PG-13 teen comedy, which has some wild jokes at times. I was quite impressed at how they were willing to go with this story. And I really dug it. Number two. This movie tackles familiar tropes while also flipping everything on its head. I was very much shocked at where this movie went by the end of the movie. And the movie was all the more better for it. The movie does have a familiar unconventional love story, but because the unconventional love story works, it makes the dynamic all the more engaging, and I was pretty much impressed by where the story ended up going, and by the end of the movie I was like, man, that's a good rom-com right there. More rom-coms need to be absolutely smart instead of predictable and familiar. Take familiar tropes. And do something deliciously wicked with it. And that's what this movie does so well. Number three. It's cool seeing a young Joseph Gordon-Levitt in this. I can respect that. Number four. Heath Ledger. Yeah. It's crazy seeing Heath Ledger in this. Because I was mainly used to seeing Heath Ledger as the Joker in The Dark Knight. But this is how Heath Ledger got his big start and his big break. I bet people, when they first saw Dark Knight, they were concerned, like, oh, really? The guy from 10 Things I Hate About You is our Joker? That's crazy. But this is me the opposite. I'm like, really? The Joker is in a rom-com? What's up with this? He pulled it off so well. It's fun hearing Heath Ledger with an Aussie accent. That was pretty fun. So you two are going to help me tame the wild beast. Number five. I think this sequence says it for itself. I love you, baby. Man, if only Heath Ledger had lived longer, he would have been in a great musical movie. Number six. Julia Stiles. I gotta bring up Julia Stiles. She did a great job at playing such an unlikable character. A character that drives you crazy with how smart and quippy she is and being rude to everybody. And just seeing her soften up throughout the course of the movie and slowly falling in love with Heath Ledger's character is so much fun to watch. The chemistry that these two actors have is what makes the movie work. Number seven. The soundtrack. It slaps hard. I love it so much. Number eight. Some of the supporting players are so much fun, especially within the school. Wait, there's this English teacher who has a lot of funny quips. And Allison Janney plays the guidance counselor who is... Very much unpredictable in what she ends up saying. People perceive you as somewhat tempestuous. <laughs> Heinous witch is the term used most often. And those two characters help sell this wild, crazy movie. That, again, it's on Disney+. Plus. Number nine. David Krumholtz is even in this movie. Yes, I know him best as Bernard the Elf from the Santa Claus movies. So it's cool seeing this actor in other movies, and he's just as fun as the other actors in this movie. Number 10. This is a Shakespeare adaptation? Yeah, come to find out, 10 Things I Hate About You is a loose modern adaptation of a Shakespeare story. I've never heard of this one. It's called The Taming of the Shrew. I mean, who knew, right? I'm not the most Shakespeare-minded. I'm not the biggest Shakespeare person. So, I never read this story. Not even in high school. I don't know the original story well, so I don't know any of the changes made in this. But I'm pretty much impressed that they took a Shakespeare adaptation 
and did their own take on it and did their own thing with it. Reminded me a lot of why I love West Side Story so much. So, me, the non-Shakespeare person, my two favorite Shakespeare adaptations, I guess, are West Side Story and 10 Things I Hate About You. There you go. I love this movie. It's a 5 out of 5 star movie. It's one of the best rom-coms I've ever seen. It's up there for me with movies like Midnight in Paris and 500 Days of Summer. I love the rom-coms that take a relationship and do a smart thing with it instead of being predictable, formulaic, and annoying. I like the rom-com stories that are more invested with their humor. The movies are wildly entertaining. The stories are original. And the relationships feel genuine and real. And that's what I got from 10 Things I Hate About You. It's a deliciously fun time. It's currently on Disney+. Plus. Check it out if you haven't already. I highly recommend this movie. Even if you're not into rom-coms. This movie might make you a tolerable fan of rom-coms. Because this movie's actually so good. So I hope you enjoyed my special video on 10 Things I Hate About You. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've seen this film, let me know down in the comments below. Would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!